Hey everybody, welcome to RMTV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19, New York Mets franchise. This is episode 25, and here we are for this June 24th game. Um, unfortunately, I was actually I actually recorded this video, Dallas Keiko against the C Shack with the Cubbies. Um, I actually won that game 5 to 1. But I think while I was recording, I knocked the HDMI cable or something like that off the recorder and it kind of went haywire. Um, but we ended up getting yeah, the win. 5 to 1. Lowry and Cespedes to the home run. Um, so, we have a coming to that. We have a four game series against the Phillies. So, this is definitely a big series and hopefully at least take half of it. I don't want to lose the series and create too much distance between um, myself and the Phillies. So,. What we can do. Right? Okay. Damn it. Reese Hoskins with a two-run home run. They're already up early in the game. Come on. There you go. Again, are you, are you kidding? And a stolen base? Come on. You can't do anything correct right now, man. Hoskins. Wow. I sent through because I thought we lost. <laughs> and uh, we ended up winning. We wrote 10 runs in the seventh inning. Cano Nemo with a home run. Cano with five RBIs. Rosario with two. Ramos with an RBI as well as three from Nemo. Wow. Um, I, I quit because I thought we lost that game. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, but next game is against Jacob the Grom. Versus Nick Pavetta. Nick Pavetta's one and two with a 4.1 ERA. Grom hasn't been the Grom. Seven and eight with a 3.7 ERA. So, so we can do. I'm so surprised that happened. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, I guess this roster changed. Yeah, I'm so surprised because I thought we were doomed there. I guess they were able to manage things out and yeah, let's since we able to. Rounds like put Roger Davis and Triple A. Toffee. Go. So now. Let's see, let's do a quick manage. Let's do it, guys. Come on. The 85 jerseys. Come on, Jake. You can do this. Oh, Ramos is a little tired. Ron, Larry, and Frazier. Suspicious is also a little tired, so let's put in Nemo. Let's see. We've got all the scroll minutes here. I think I'm actually gonna switch that over. Uh, I'm not, that's right. Now we got to switch lineups around, and I think we should be okay here. Alright. Side squeeze, one runs in, all right, that's what I like. Just simple baseball, that's all I like. Alonzo with a single, all right. Error, go on Nimmo. There you go, Nimmo with a triple, very nice. Suicide squeeze, one run scored, that's all I care about. Double my McNeil, a walk. Pete Alonzo! I think he got thrown out though, that's alright. Uh, well, somebody got thrown out. Okay. 
right? Oh, wow, triple by Broxton. 7 nothing. Two side squeeze. 8 nothing. Ah, I went to Cesar Hernandez. Oh, by Harper. Okay. Another run in. Rob Broxton with a heck of a game. Bunt. Swing. All right. Both runs scored. 11 1 now. Wow. Mets win 11-1. That's what I like to see, man. 11-5, 11-1. We had an offensive surge against Philly. And we are now two games back for the Nationals. I just don't understand how the Nationals are playing this well. I'm sorry, man. If you guys don't realize, they're a disaster. They're a disaster right now. They're not playing very well. And... I don't know, man. I feel like it should just be the Phillies and the Phillies, Braves, and Mets. Obviously, the Mets aren't playing as well. Um, but anyway, we're going to be playing this. What is this? This June 26th game. We got Noah Syndergaard versus Aaron Nola. For those who know, Aaron Nola is actually pretty good. Uh, so it's going to be something that I'm going to have to be careful of and watch the pitches. Um, so let me just fix these lineups for AAA because they can't do anything for themselves, apparently. And I think we're missing third base. Let's put J.D. Davis. Oops. Sorry about this, guys, but... Uh, I'm just putting an empty slot in there. I think it should be good now. Okay. Here it is, okay. So see you guys in Philly. Well, as the season gets long, if you can keep your This is another shot to center field. McCutcheon chases it back. <laughs> That's a warning track. That's a shot by Conforto. And it's out of here. That is a solo home run from Michael Conforto. And it's one nothing here in the second inning. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Ooh, the guy with a slider. And that'll be the first out of the inning. It's third strike out of the game. And in step Scott stepping up to the plate. Noah Sindergaard. A textbook sack bunt situation here. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll chase Oof. the throw to second. He's in there. Oh, we got the right on time, and that's a infield hit by Syndergaard. Instead of taking the sure keyhole something middle of the plate. This is lying to left. It's gonna be a base hit. It's gonna be a bases loaded situation here. So we got Lowry on third, Syndergaard on second, we got McNeil at first base. Ah, uh, double play ball. Run will score, though. So it's going to be 2-0 match with a man on third. Robinson Cano giving that double play up. That is a shot by Pete Alonso. This could be a home run. And it is. It's out of here. That's a two-run shot by Pete Alonso. That is number 14 of the season. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Wow, what a shot by Pete Alonso getting that 3-2 count into the stands. Let's take a look at a replay here. Wow, another long ball in the early going Boom. of this one. The second one. What a moonshot by Pete. Interesting point there and something to keep an eye on, guys. One and two to McCutcheon. No outs here in the third. 
Got him swinging through a fastball. That's 99 miles an hour. From Elvis Syndergaard, that's number four. Three and two to Harper. Got him looking with a fastball. Harper does not believe it. Throwing a temper tantrum. Go ahead, get thrown out. Three and one to Cespedes. That is also a shot going to deep left center field. This ball's going back, and it's caught! What a catch from McCutcheon, robbing a home run. Or at least a double. From Yohan Cespedes, what a catch. That's a swing miss from Franco, and 101 miles an hour. Fastball is number 7 for Syndergaard. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. First, he's digging for second. Not in time. As a quick double by Hernandez. Jeez. In the second here with the double to kick off the home fifth. And as you see there, he currently tops the Phillies in that department. And he popped him up. And that's gonna fall for a base hit. The throw home. And they're not gonna get him. He's four to one now. As an RBI single by McCutcheon. First the stolen base, now the single to drive and run. We'll play ball. Out of second. Out of first, getting Harper on a grounder. Ooh, got Hoskins on a slider, inning over. Jose, he knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball play. Good stop by Alonzo. He is out at first. <clears throat> One and two to Butera. Got him swinging with a sinker. And that is Noah Syndergaard's night. Poof. He had a heck of a night. Four hits. One walk. I mean, four hits, one run. center field on the run is Williams oh he misses that get to it and this should put a man in scoring position to this is gonna be a double for Cespedes I'm surprised he didn't catch that out. it's a lead off the last time up here's the one one Line there you go that gets down and the inning will continue one run is scored that's two runs. Score for the Mets. And it's going to be 6 to 1. That's a two run double by Jeff McNeil. It's going to be base hit by Cano. It's going to be a two run double. So it's going to be 8 to 1 Mets now. Again, it's a two run double by Robinson Cano. No drives into center field, and it's no, not caught. McCutcheon misses the dive. Cano's, I mean, uh, Conforto's running to third, and he is safe. That is a stand up triple by Michael Conforto due to the missed dive by McCutcheon. No outs. Very risky play for McCutcheon. It's already an 8 1 ball game. Why bother diving, man? Lowry going to deep left field. And it's out of here into the stands, going to opposite field. Jed Lowry with a solo shot making 9 to 1 Mets. That's his eighth of the year. It's a solo shot for Jed Things got a little out of hand now. This should be caught by Nimmo. And it's caught. This ball game's over. The Mets win 9 to 1. Behind the backs of the Mets. Of course, no, Syndergaard did pitch pretty well. Only six innings, though. Uh, with, although he had nine strikeouts, giving him four hits, four walks. Uh, played against Mike Conforto with a home run and a triple. And uh, the Mets, seventh inning was a giant surge for them, as well as third. I'm very happy about this. Now we take uh, three games out of four. We can go for the sweep next game. But you can have to wait for the next episode for that. But we're going to take a look at the, stand, uh, the standings here. We are now 
in second place, two games behind the Nationals. We are in the hunt, guys. We are in the hunt. We, I believe, probably are in the wild card right now. Um, we are number, we're tied with the Phillies and Reds in the wild card. Um, so this is something that I am excited about, and hopefully, I believe it's Wheeler that's going to be playing the next game. Injuries for. I believe it's oh, it's Mike Walker versus Jake Arietta. Oh boy, uh, Arietta is 10 and 3 with a 1.8 ER, ERA. Walker is 7 and 3. Um, he lost his last game with a what is this? With a uh, quick manage. Uh, we're gonna try to bounce back and take this season sweep or a series sweep rather. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy this episode. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below, and I uh, hope we'll see you guys later. Peace.